Hello, Mikey Reader here from the Conscious Wealth Institute with tip number nine to achieving conscious wealth and success in your life. Now, the reason that I've left goal setting till quite late in the series is because I have a little bit of a controversial approach to goal setting. Most coaches and books and um, methods will tell you that you need to be very structured in your goal setting. You need to have everything down very specifically with tight time frames. One of the most popular uh, methods to set goals is the SMART goal formula. Now, if you're not familiar with the SMART goal formula, then there is a blog on my website, Conscious Wealth Institute, where you can follow through with that. And I recommend that everybody tries really structured goal setting and actually tries it um, with um, a great deal of commitment to see if it works for them first because it does work for a lot of people and it is very very powerful however for me I haven't worked that that kind of really structured goal setting works and I heard somebody called Maz Shermer speaking quite recently and um, she's a well recognized public speaker and a coach and she says that nearly all of these formulas or at least all of the ones that we're aware of um, actually are be created by men. So the, um, the, the methods like NLP and these other structured goal um, setting formulas are structured by men. They're very male oriented. Now the male brain works very, very differently to the female brain. So, and this is possibly why this doesn't work for everybody. These formulas are not a one size fits all. And you really need to be um, aware of what goal formula works for you if it needs to be really, really, really structured. And you know what? I've actually noticed that this year, the beginning of this year, 2013, a lot of the coaches are moving away from this structured goal setting formula, which is so interesting. Um, and they're moving toward um, more feeling goals more vision oriented focused um, uh, things to strive for I guess is the, the right, right way to put it um, and for instance the way I set my goals for this year is how many more people I want to reach with my message how many more people I want to hear my sound healing and how many more people I want to help transform their lives rather than a money goal. A money goal does not drive me. It does drive many people and it drive, if it drives you, fantastic. But for me, setting a money goal really just pulls the rug out from under me. It does not inspire me. So Max Simon says it very, very well. Figure out who you want to be in the world and then figure out your activities around who you want to be on a daily, weekly, monthly and a yearly basis. For instance, I choose to be more conscious this year. In every moment, I want to be more conscious, more aware. I want to be kinder to myself and others, have more compassion. And I also do have some very big goals this year um, in that there are things that I do want to achieve, but I haven't set specific dates. Because, look, what I find is when I follow these really structured formulas and I set specific dates, and if I don't reach though my achieve my goals by that date, I feel really deflated. I can get quite depressed, demotivated. And if there's a cycle of this, then you know what? I end up not being able to move forward at all. I'm really, really stuck. So try it both ways, but find what works for you. Figure out who you want to be in the world. And with whatever way you choose to set your goals, don't settle for what you think you can achieve. Figure out what you want. Don't worry about your mind saying that's not achievable, you can't do that, it's too big. Don't worry about any of the negative talk or the, the stuff, the thoughts that your mind comes back with because it's not true. Whatever your mind throws at you, it's not true. It's just your conditioning and unless you allow it to control your results, it can't. So figure out what you want and go for that. So firstly, figure out who you want to be in the world. Then figure out what you truly, truly want. How do you want to feel and what things will help to um, help you to feel those feelings, to achieve um, that presence in the world. And then 
Be happy where you are right now. That is so important. Stop beating yourself up for the things you haven't achieved, for the goals that have been sort of swept away in the wind, um, for the procrastination that you've done, for the years that you've let slip by. Just be happy with what you have right now. Gratitude is so, so important. So that's my tip for goals. Work out what actually works specifically for you. There is no one size fits all. And I look forward to seeing you for video number 10. And it's all about procrastination. This is a great video. You are going to love it. And if in the meantime, you would like some free gifts and some more help to reach your goals and dreams and your vision more quickly this year, then please visit ConsciousWealthInstitute.com where I've got some great tools for you to help you to move forward more quickly. Take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.